We have promoted the construction of green roofs through combination requirements and incentives induced in a number of policies administered by various city departments. There is a sustainability development policy which places green roof uh, requirements, including green, uh, including green building requirements, including green roofs, on a project that received city funds, bonds, tax breaks. Nearly all the requirements include some form of a green roof. The Green Roof Improvement Program provided matching grants to, const to construct green roofs on existing buildings in the central area of the city. It was funded by a community development tool known as tax increment financing. So we have, one, we have a number of historical buildings, older buildings in the downtown area, and some even built uh, uh, up in the 70s. And how can we basically keep their viability because many of them lose tenants to newer buildings? And so that is the way, how do you keep them uh, environmentally sensitive that they can bring tenants back into these buildings? And it's a wonderful program. Building owners apply for financial assistance to the Green Roof Improvement Program. It is granted uh, if they meet a number of criteria, such as size, visibility of the roof, a commitment to collect data about stormwater, heat island mitigation, and several others. We've also established a green permit program that provides expedited permit review and financial incentives to encourage green buildings. Of course, green roofs are one of the menu items that helps a builder gain expedited review. We have a green roof grant program that in the past has made $5,000 grants to assist residents and small commercial owners with the installation of green roofs in Chicago. Our storm water ordinance identifies green roofs as one of the ways in which developers may meet the requirement of the ordinance. And the city awards density bonuses to buildings with green roofs, which allow developers to increase the amount of space and a parcel to be developed. As I, as I hope you see, we approach green roofs as a collaborative effort with builders, commercial building owners, managers, owners of residential properties. The key to moving forward on the issue of sustainability is the cooperation and reaching out to people. It's not enough for local government to work with each other. They also have to work with the business, non-for-profits, interest groups, and of course, community organizations. Our progress on environmental issues could not have achieved without the partnership that we sought and created on every level of community, from block clubs to the largest corporations. As you may know, there's no better example uh, of that than the Millennium Park in a downtown area, which returned 16 acres of ground covered with railroad tracks into the nation's largest green roof. And the process created a wonderful public space that adds to the quality of life in Chicago and of course, builds pride in our city. Our local businesses and non-for-profit organizations donated more than 200 million to help build a park. That shows if you can get everyone on the same page, aim towards achieving the same goals, there's practically no limit to what you can accomplish. Not too long ago, the Wall Street Journal ran an article that said, and I quote, Chicagoans have transformed from Carl Sandburg's brawling city, a big shoulder, in what is probably the most beautiful of post-industrial cities, end of quote. And that's a statement that will grab the attention not only of prospective tourists or business travelers, but also international companies that are looking for new business locations. But most of all, it is a statement that tells us that we are doing a good job of addressing environmental issues in a way that moves us towards an overall goal of improving the quality of life for every citizen of our great city. Every day in government, we have to make difficult choices between what we want to do and what we have to do and keep the interests of the taxpayers foremost in our minds. And this has led us to a very important conclusion in Chicago. Environmentalism makes economic sense. When a city exists in harmony with the environment, it is simply looks better and feels better. And we know that shows up, of course, in our financial bottom line. Cities are no longer the enemies of the natural environment. They're leading the way in preserving, I believe, and protecting it. In doing so, we firmly believe that we're improving public health, we are saving money, we are creating jobs, and of course, enhancing the quality of life and leaving a la lasting legacy to future generations of our city. Thank you very much.